Oh, what's going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome back to Timberborn. So, I there was an update a couple months back, and or like a month ago, and I meant to check it out, and I wanted to check it out. And of course, like I built a new computer, so I don't have any of my saves. So we're gonna go, we're gonna we're gonna hop into a new game here, and uh, we're gonna check out some Timberborn. They added some like golems and things like that. Now, obviously, we're probably not gonna get to that today. Um, but if if everybody enjoys and everybody wants to see it, then we'll continue on. We'll play some things, get to some golems. I have played this game many times before, so I recommend checking it out. Uh, but like I said, unfortunately, I don't have my save, so I actually don't even have the iron teeth unlocked yet. But that's okay because we're gonna start with the folk tales because I like them. they're like they're like the old time farmy beavers, and I like them. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna hop in. Um, let's see. I want to go to an area that I have never played before. Thousand Islands sounds kind of fun. Oh, you know what? I think I already did that. Terraces, mountain range, meander, waterfalls, um, helix mountain diorama. Oh, that's small. I want to see what terraces look like. Let's pop into terraces. Let's do a normal mode. Let's go ahead and start that. I want to see what the land looks like here, because if uh, if this save is going to be our save, it's going to be we're going to be playing it for a while. We're going to sink some hours into it, and I want it to be pretty. I mean, every map's pretty. But you know what I'm saying? We got to make sure it's extra good. And the place is going to be named Beeves Town. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's see. Pause everything. Uh, what does... What does the map look like here? Ooh. I need to zoom, like, way out. Okay. So, we've got... Man, we've got hills, like, everywhere. So where is, so this water, where is that water coming from? Interesting. I want to look at, let me look at the map here. And we'll see if we're sticking to it. Okay. So I actually changed the map to meander and I actually really like this map because it's actually, it's actually quite small. Um, which means that hopefully we can work on density, getting our places densely populated and min like minimizing and maximizing our land usage, which I think could be kind of fun. And um, because sometimes the maps get like really big and then all you have is basically like a long ways from one civilization to the next. Whereas this map, I think is small enough where we could probably just have one civilization, one big, huge Beavs Township civilization. Let's go ahead and let's do it. So um, we're going to go through this tutorial, I guess because this seems like a little bit newer. Um, I do, I like this. So what I'm thinking is water's flowing this way. So obviously we need to get up, um, we need to get some levees or some dams right here. So that way when the water stops, you know, we'll still have all this water over here and then hopefully this will all also fill up a little bit, get a little bit deeper here. That should, um, that should hold us. Oh, actually no, because that's just gonna fill up to here. And then we'd have to put, if we wanted this to be deeper, we'd have to put another one here because that's only going to fill up this area. So a uh, little bit of work to be done, but I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be good. Um, and there's a natural step right here already. Man, we, we've got this. We've got this. Beeves Township is ready for population. All right. So place a lumberjack flag. Let's go ahead and do it. It has been a while. It's been a while indeed. Um, let's go ahead. So since we've got some greenery here. Employs the lumberjack and cuts trees, gathers logs. I want to just basically get this whole area covered right here. So we'll just go ahead and do that. We can always move these things later. Um, let's see. Oh, we need two lumberjack flags. Okay, well, we'll have two lumberjack flags. Look at that. My gosh, we've done the things. Uh, let's see. Lumberjack flags. Flags. The flags will not be built unless there's a district's building and range, like the district center. To see its building range, you can sense building range by building paths. Look at that. It's in the range. Fantastic. All right, there go the little beavers. They're going to work. They're going to build the lumberjack flag. Oh, look at them go. They're so cute. Um, I also really like that we got like some uh, some metal stuff here. We've already got this. So we're going to have to play things um, kind of carefully here because we've got, you know, only so much area that we can grow food on right away and only so much area that we can store water and things like that. So I want to make sure those are getting done. Are you guys going to... Uh, hello? Can we build these? Oh, they're working on it. Okay. Perfect. All right. Now it's going to have us select every building with an entrance must be connected to a district center by path. <gasps> oh, yes. I love, I love a good path. <laughs> Paths are so much fun. So let's go ahead and do this. And this is a center. So let's go ahead and do something like that. 
I'm gonna try to take this uh, relatively slow, but I mean, you guys saw my settlement survival game. <laughs> I wasn't very, I wasn't that great. Beavers, on the other hand, I feel like I'm okay with the beavers. I feel like I'm okay. Now they don't know where to build. Uh, mark trees for cutting. So I obviously, I want this whole area right here cleared out for sure. And I want these cleared out because we're gonna put buildings here. These aren't gonna grow back, which is fine. Um, we're probably gonna end up putting our like little forestry over here and then maybe across the way here because we're gonna have to like dedicate certain areas for certain things. Uh, okay, so that looks good. Beavers need water to survive. Build a water pump to ensure a continuous source of drinking water. Remember to connect it to a district center. All right, so the water pump on this one is gonna go right in here for sure. It's too far from a district. Build more paths or a new district. Okay, well, let's get some more paths in here real fast. So there's that one, but you know what? I think I want another one right here. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and get our pathing tool. Let's get this one, this one, this one there. And then let's go up. I'm going to stay right against this wall. Perfect. That way we can put more pumps in here as needed. We're probably going to put some, uh, some rain barrels and stuff in there too, because that's what we need. Uh, we need some stockpiles and stuff. Come on, beavers. Let's go. We got We got to start making all the things. I know. Build water pump. Come on. So that's going to help us there. But yeah, we got to make sure that we put um, a levee or a dam right in here. At the very least, because the first year, you know, we got to make sure we have food. We got to make sure we have water. Uh, we need a gatherer's hut, too. But like, <laughs> yeah, there's flag. I'm going to just go ahead and put that up. Let the gatherer begin gathering because why not I might be working ahead of here a little bit but you know we'll, we'll see how it goes we need to make sure we're having food and stuff now if I put another levy here see that would keep like all of this water around here which would keep all this green for longer which means we could plant it longer and harvest it longer so I'd really like to get that going too uh, but for the first season we really need to get this one across and once that one's there, then we can focus on trying to on trying to maybe get to 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 right here. We'll have to see. I mean, because if we could put a hole right here, we could fill this too. All right, uh, water pump is done. Now it's gonna want me to put a gatherer's flag. Ha <laughs> ha! Gatherer's flag is done. Build a farmhouse. Okay, so this is where we're gonna start getting the food stuff going. So the farmhouse needs to make sure we need to make sure that this farmhouse is within range of about as much greenery as possible if i put it okay so maybe we'll go like something like that because maybe we could always irrigate this area a little bit up further and if we get it filled up a little bit further it might run a little bit further but uh the trees are going to stay down in here so let's go ahead and let's just do Let's do that area there. So we'll build a farmhouse and then we're going to have to pick, we're going to do a farm plot, but let's, I guess they're gonna have to go ahead and build the farmhouse first. You know what? I also really want to get some water storage kind of going here. Um, at least one there, <laughs> like we need some water storage. So that way we have something going. Um, uh, yeah. Someone needs to establish a stable food source. Build a farmhouse to plant and harvest crops. Absolutely. Uh, let's go ahead and mark this as the highest priority. <gasps> there, look at that. Farmhouse is done. All right, so now we need to plant. Use the plant crops tool to mark out carrots. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. Uh, so I know this area right here is our crop area. So I'm going to go ahead and just fill in. 89 it wants me to do a hundred you say wow that's a hundred huh okay so let's go ahead and just kind of fill these in like that that looks pretty good build a log pile build a small water tank and build a small warehouse all right so let's get the log pile immediately going here um you know what i'm thinking the log pile might actually go I'm thinking we're going to do something like this. 
something like that because eventually we're gonna have uh they're gonna be harvesting over here so let's get let's just get the log pile there i guess and then we need to get a small warehouse now small warehouse we'll go ahead and put that let's get that off the main road let's do uh well, actually let's do something like this let's connect that there and let's do that and then we could always um actually can these be stacked are these the buildings that can be stacked upon other buildings can solid other buildings can be built on top of this can you stack these guys yeah you can but you have to have a thing okay so we'll let those get built we've got the water tank we got a water tank we got two water tanks actually um uh, we have workplace some beavers this building isn't oh it's not connected by any paths oh my gosh i'm a, I'm a dummy there we go completely forgot about that yeah we need to get planting like asap there they go and they're all thirsty because we don't have any water now we also need to get houses built too um small water oh we're supposed to build three small water tanks okay all right so i built three more water tanks that's a total of five more than what i was asking for but good enough should be good enough all right we're looking good so we got three of the water tanks filled we have two more in uh queued up that's fine build a lodge so now we need to build some houses here so lodge 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 mirrored so what i kind of want to do is uh, this all this area down here has the potential to become green um and i want to kind of keep that like like that but we're gonna have to put some housing here um so what i'm gonna try to do is i'm gonna try to do something like hold on let me see here I want to do something like this and then possibly have how many of these do i need to build six um possibly have a ramp going up these up to here and then build more housing up here if we have to i want to keep the housing as close and tighten it as possible and then like i said we could build stairs going up we could also possibly build if we actually put some foundations here we could actually build another set put stairs stair here and that would give us like pretty, pretty uh, fairly dense housing Okay, so now that they're working on the housing, uh, we might actually have to go ahead and set up this area for logging as well. So let's go ahead and mark to cut trees. Uh, those look good. And then we need to get this dam up because we've got it. We got to get some water saved up for the winter times. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and let's just go right there yay we got some we got some carrots coming in very nice construction likes materials yes we are aware we got some people growing up we're at three of six lodges here looking good uh we really need to get some we need to get the forestry up though plants trees and bushes that would be a huge all right lodges are all built build the inventor this will give us the ability to get research, which is super nice. Uh, let's see. Where do we want to put you? And we'll sneak it back here. Kind of put a road over here. Trying to get things like off the main path if I can. That way this can be traveled. So we'll get the inventor there. And then that'll allow us to unlock stuff. If we can unlock the wooden stairs, that would also be good. Um, so we've also got the, the dam going in here to block up this water. And then I was actually thinking what we could do is we could actually build a set of stairs going down here and put a dam in here as well, because then that would stop all this water. However, if we just put a dam over here, that would stop all of this water. You know what I'm saying? So, um, one thing at a time. Try to not overdo it. I am looking at the trees though, and I see the trees are gonna be an issue. All right, inventor is done. Build a water wheel. We can now start producing more advanced resources, but some buildings require power to do so. Building a water wheel by the shore on the river is independent way to water flow. It will, so will stop producing energy when there's no water. Of course, of course, of course, of course. So let's go ahead and let's get that water wheel built. Now, the interesting part here is I don't really have a whole lot of water flow. 
I mean, like, I guess that's touching. The problem is that the anchor point on it is not very high. So, like, hmm, this is one thing I did not consider. You almost need to put this on the other side. Like, our production buildings that require energy almost need to go in here, which is really a bummer. Hmm. So we'll just put it right here for now. This is something we're going to have to move later, though. I already know it. Like, we're going to have to move this later. And I think it's probably going to end up going over here. And then I did see this high power shaft. That might... That might be something that would bring the power up and over. But, again, I don't, I don't really know. I don't know for sure. Because, like, we have this area. We could build across here. And build some stuff in here. But, I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh my gosh, this guy's got broken teeth. How... How does that happen? How do you have broken teeth? That's terrible. Okay, you know what? We have the inventor. Can can we go ahead and just get the forester going? Can't unlock forester, not enough science points. Where's my science points at? Oh, we have 34. Ugh. All right. And we need 60. So I went ahead and I already marked out where the uh, the lumber mill is going to go. It's going to go right here. We're going to try to get as many buildings in this one area as possible. As humanly possible or beaverly possible. And uh, we got to get we gotta get those science points so that we can get the lumber mill going. We have like zero trees left. Absolutely no trees left whatsoever. This is not not great. I really need those science points. Hey, we got 60. Okay. We need this so bad. And it requires planks, which I don't have. This is not good. Um, low, low, low. These need to be highest priority. Middle priority. And then... Uh-huh. I don't know if we're gonna have enough for this. I might have made a mistake here in building this dam right now. Might have made a mistake. I guess we'll find out. Oh, here comes the dry season too. <laughs> this is the yeah. I was like, I was like, I was like, you know what? This is, seems like it's going way easier than it was before. Uh, this is gonna be fantastic because I don't think I have enough trees here. Now that was the one problem. With this map is the initial amount of trees was very 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 lacking so you know what do we have stairs yet oh my gosh stairs require planks too are you kidding me all right so we're about to hit the uh, the dry season the dam is not up the water wheel is not up we don't have no trees we have no wood we've got um i mean we've got 108 water and we've got 125 food we're gonna see how this goes it's probably gonna be very close and i also don't know <laughs> What we're gonna do because like literally gonna have to wait for these trees right here to grow just to finish this so that we could finish the forester oh my gosh oh that's not fantastic oh these trees aren't even gonna grow either because it's gonna be dry soon well, well it's fantastic i have a feeling that everything's dead you know our drought is only like two days so i think we'll be fine i think we'll be just fine i don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal and we'll have some science points like uh, stocked up, so we, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We got this. Oh, the drought has ended. The water's back. <laughs> so exciting. Just in time for our pumpkins to, or our carrots to all die. All right, we need our trees. We need to get this finished. Okay, we should be fine now. Now that the water's back, we can at least get uh, some food. We got plenty of carrots. We got water. We'll be pumping. We'll be good. Oh, look at that. We got um, we got the, the thing built. We got the lumber mill built with all the extra wood that we had. Yeah, look at that. We we did a thing. We did it. I didn't I didn't have to completely restart the game because I ran out of wood and uh, ran myself dry. No, 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 no. I didn't have to do that. I, I just simply waited and it, it worked and it's it's working. See, look, it's well, it's kind of working. <laughs> All right, I had to make I had to start over. I'm sorry. <laughs> I ran out of wood. I had nothing to do. But now we should be good because 
<laughs> built a forester imagine that so we got the forester queued up uh this thing can't actually even run right now because like it doesn't have enough stuff however mm, it doesn't have enough water power right now which is kind of a bummer but i don't really know what to do to fix it um yeah i don't really know what to do here like it's yeah eh. nothing not even like a little bit of output nothing and they can't get to it to build another one here so well that's that's absolutely fantastic so what I could do is I could build a dam in front of it. Leave these two open, close these ones up higher. Wait, actually, hold on. A dam doesn't work that way. That is a floodgate. So I'd have to build a dam like right here and let it all the water flow right there. Hmm. What does a floodgate actually take? It, 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 oh my gosh, it takes planks, which I can't because zero water, zero movement here. What are the odds of that? Okay, so I could, I can't because we don't have the planks. Mm. Wow, that, that right there really put a damper on things. Like it was working and then it just, <laughs> it don't work no more. So the only option I really have is to build this power wheel. I really didn't want to. But I don't really have much of a choice right now. All right, I'm just going to build the power wheel. Oh my gosh, that's such a terrible thing to have to make. But, I mean, there's nothing else we can really do. Because I need those planks and I can't get the forestry built until we have planks. And I can't get more planks because I don't have the forestry. Oh, what a pickle to be in. See, now if I put a dam across the front of it right here, it would cause water to fill up equally and then it would all overflow. So I think it would probably work, but... Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, little wheel buddy. I was really hoping you wouldn't have to do that. Oh, the forestry is up. Finally. That's going to be a huge help. So, you know, I honestly feel like we could use another forester here because this guy can't get things planted very quickly. Um, he's not actually planting anything. Oh, it's because it's all, it's all dried out. That's why he's not planting anything. Of course. So, we have 142 points right now. I'm thinking this stairs and this platform could be a huge win. Because then we could build stairs going down here. We could build a platform going across. And then we could harvest these trees over here. And then we could also pop up in here and start harvesting all these trees right away until we get our farm going. And then we'd also have a way over here so we can start farming stuff over here as well. So I think those are going to be completely, absolutely, and utterly worth the best thing. So I'm going to go ahead and mark those. And then we can also build up here and start putting more housing and things like that in because we are going to start needing more houses here soon. We only have one free bed available, so... Oh, now our water wheel's spinning. What the heck? Must have been that initial surge of water coming back from the uh, from the rainy season. It had to have been. Um, how's the water looking? Oh, water's not looking good. We might need to get another pump house going here. Uh, but we have 100 points, so now we can unlock this. Yes, please. Let's go ahead and let's get ourselves... Let's get ourselves across here for now. Because that'll be way cheaper. Um, oh, we actually need to get that there, too. We'll get ourselves across here, then we can start harvesting these logs. And then what we need to do is we probably need to go ahead and get another water deal going. And then we need to, uh, we probably need to get more water containers as well. Ha! Huh, well, water. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh gosh, so funny. Okay, so we're in the same pickle that we were before. There's no logs, which means there's not enough to build another pump house, which means that we basically have not enough water. We're just barely surviving on water, barely surviving on food right now. Uh, these two beavers are harvesting nonstop. That's all they're doing. They're not even planting anymore. 
and we barely have enough to feed everybody. So uh, we got to get this bridge finished. Honestly, it probably would have been better if I would have just built the stairs going up here, grab this wood or this wood right here. However, I didn't. Um, so these trees right here are done. So that should get this finished. We should be able to then grab these logs, which will then get this building built, more storage is built, and uh, then we can get another farming thing going so we can get more food out quicker. And we should be good. We should be good. This is, uh, <laughs> I forgot how much of a fun, how, how fun it is to start. It's always fun starting. It really is. Are you kidding me? This construction is too far from a district, but this one's not. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hold on. What if we add a path? Yeah. I think we might need to make this a path. Maybe that'll work. And then like connect this path. Hopefully. Oh gosh. There we go. Okay. No. Well, hopefully that once that gets connected, that one will work. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was a little bit worried about that one. Come on, finish it, guys. Let's go. This patch of trees right here could save our lives. Well, the beavers' lives, actually. Oh, come on, get built. Get built. 89% complete. <laughs> it has all the stuff. Let's go. Just somebody get over there and build it. Oh my gosh, finally. Okay. You should be able to reach that. Who's working here? Okay, we have somebody working there. Which means they should be able to then go out and grab the trees. Which means that we should have a decent supply of stuff coming in. Okay. Whew. Now everything else can get built. This is going to be the next highest priority. Oh, it's already it's already ready to go. Cool. And then that'll get double uh, water. And then we need to get another farmhouse going. And then we should be set for a little bit. Oh, yes. Double water pumps. Fantastic. We're going to get the double farmhouse going. Are you even cutting down any trees? Oh, he's busy over here. He's not even touching this stuff over here yet. Well, hey, you know what? That's fine. As long as you have something to do, I am okay with that. Actually, let's go ahead and get rid of this lumberjack station. And let's just put another one over here. I also don't need planks currently, so we're going to go ahead and uh, pause that building. I don't want my logs accidentally going in there. Oh my gosh, this isn't a path right there. Oh, I can't even believe I did that. I bet you, yep. <laughs> that wasn't even a path. That's why I was kind of like, I was like, why is that not getting built? That's not a path technically. Yep, okay. Should be good now. We have a drought coming in very soon, which means we need to get as much water um, stored as possible. And food. Oh my gosh. Hopefully it's not a very long drought. So I think it's time to go ahead and build a dam. Now, I should build one over here. However, I want to build one over here so that way this water stays. So that way these crops and stuff will keep growing. So we're going to try this. It's going to be too little too late. But I still want to try it. I think everything else is built. So, uh, yeah, hopefully the lumber should just go to these. They're not going to get built in a day, but, you know, they actually got halfway done in a day. I was surprised. I didn't think that they would actually get that far. <laughs> like, it actually was giving me hope that they might finish. They're not going to finish, though. Oh, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be fun. Will we make it? And through the drought. I hope so. We only have we have a hundred water. We have no food. I don't think we're gonna make it because I don't think any of these are gonna pop up. They're not. So uh yeah, this is gonna be very, very interesting indeed. Oh, you know what? We've got berries though. If I put a berry gatherer over here, I think we can make this happen. It might be close, but we'll see. But that's going to be the next episode because that's going to end it. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Again, this is Timberborn. Uh, we've checked this out before, and I have done better in the past, but this map is a little bit more difficult than I was expecting. Um, limited resources for sure. So leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your map favorite your favorite map is. And, uh, yeah, thanks again for coming out. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.